While it's hard to see any beloved game character fall in hard times, it's even worse when he's the mascot for an entire console manufacturer. Yes, we are of course talking about Sonic, and while Sega's console line tanked back in Out 1, it's still sad to have to watch you know, our dear beloved Sonic in crappy games. But the meth out little hedgehog may just be ready for a Tina Turner in 83 style comeback. Mm. Here's Sonic and the secret rings for the Nintendo Wii. There are some things that should be considered a given. The sun will rise every day. Tupac Shakur will release another chart-topping album from Beyond the Grave. And Sonic the Hedgehog is one fast little mofo. Sadly, the past few Sonic releases haven't been up to speed, shall we say. Sonic and the Secret Ring for the Wii, however, revs back up with a healthy dose of muscle-twitching speed. No, the motion kind. This time out, Sonic has been transported into the mythical world of 1001 Arabian Nights, which is being threatened with obliteration by an evil genie. The Eraser Jin. Who? The Eraser Jin. The Eraser Jin. The Eraser Jin. The Eraser Jin. I am Eraser Jin. <laughs> gotcha. The Arabian Nights has prophesied that a blue hedgehog will save the day. All right, let's do it. So, Sonic sets out to capture some magic rings that will put down the Eraser Jin. All your favorite Sonic characters pop up in cameos, too. Right. First, we gotta give credit where it's due. The latest Sonic installment does get you back to the fast-moving adventure that captured our hearts and exhausted our thumbs back in 1991. I'm getting dizzy! Now that he's having his sweet 16, he's old enough to drive in 34 states and get married with parental consent, but he'll still be tried as a minor. So, how do you play? By tilting the controller left or right, you steer Sonic clear of obstacles. The signature dash attack is less intuitive. Targeting takes precious seconds, and by the time you're locked on, you may have passed your target. The game looks good. It's one of the best looking games for the Wii since launch. The world is colorful and detailed, but you only get one full level for each of the seven stages. The rest of the game is leftover stages, bits and pieces from previous levels where objectives for victory change faster than they do in Iraq. It's frustrating. Difficulty spikes randomly. It's irritating. Many of the challenges are memorization. It's maddening. Once you're able to clear a stage, you actually question whether you want to go to the next stage. Speaking of irritating and maddening, check out the new Metal Rock soundtrack. Playing a Sonic game shouldn't mean being forced to feel like you're at a Limp Biscuit concert circa 1998. Personally, I'd rather the soundtrack be... Mm, now that's enjoyable. Finally, the multiplayer looks like it was slapped on at the last minute. The graphics are bad, and the minigames themselves are painfully boring. Delaware State Fair boring. So, what's salvageable about the game? Well, Sonic is moving fast again. Speed break. Very fast. And for the first time, we see what a next-gen game might look like on the Wii. But loose controls, repeating levels, and the lamest multiplayer party games we've seen in a while really get in the way of enjoyment. We've been saying it for years now, but maybe next time. Maybe next time, Sonic will pull it all together. This time, though, Sonic and the Secret Rings disappoints with a 2 out of 5.